Are you interested in learning how to play scales? I can teach you a couple of things that are basic fingering patterns that apply to every single major and minor scale. So the first thing you need to know is that you have five fingers on your hand and seven notes in an octave of a scale. Five does not equal seven, and so we have to do something called a thumb crossing in order to get all seven notes in the scale. And what we do is we just kind of leave the pinky out of it, and we do a group of three, and we do a group of four, okay? And we use the thumb. See, your thumb is like it's in a different place than the rest of your fingers on your hand. All of my fingers up here are attached to the knuckles way up here on the hand, but your thumb is so much lower. And that creates this ability for it to sneak underneath the rest of the fingers really easily, which is fantastic for switching your fingers in a scale pattern. So what we do in scales is we do one, two, three, and then we sneak that thumb underneath, start over with one again, and we go one, two, three, four. And we do that pattern over and over again, all four octaves, every single key, left hand and right hand. And each scale has its own placement of that pattern, depending on where the black notes fall. But that pattern is consistent for every single scale that you'll play. So it doesn't matter if it's a bunch of black keys or a bunch of white keys, you're always going to be alternating one, two, three, one, two, three, four as a fingering. So that's the first thing to know. And then I like to break up the scales into kind of fingering groupings, which I will talk about a little bit more in a video that I will put a link for right here. So first thing to know, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. That's the basic fingering for a scale. So would you like to see how that looks? See that? So we start with a one. One, two, three. Now when we get to three, we're gonna use the thumb, sneak it underneath, and place it on the next note. One, two, three, four. Once we get to the four finger, use the thumb, sneak it underneath. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that's the basic scale fingering, and that's for right hand and left hand. And um, if you learn that basic pattern of sneaking the thumb underneath the third finger and the fourth finger, kind of like this, sneaks underneath, that gives you the basic foundation for all of the scales. So I'm gonna do a whole bunch more lessons on scales and teach you each, um, all of the rules of fingering patterns, how to figure out which notes are black, which notes are white, and explain the theory behind it, all of that stuff. But well, like the main thing you need to know is that every scale has this one, two, three, one, two, three, four pattern in it. And um, before we finish, I will show you what that looks like with your other hand. So left hand, the one, two, three, one, two, three, four, um, it goes from the top down if we're doing it in that order. So we start with one, two, three, and then sneak the thumb underneath, one, two, three, four. And then sneak the thumb underneath, one, two, three, sneak the thumb underneath. Sneak the thumb under, one, two, three, one, two, three, there at the very bottom of the scale. So that's the basic fingering pattern for scales in multiple octaves and it's um, even though it changes like which part of that pattern you start on depending on where the black notes are it's always going to be alternating group of three group of four group of three group of four so just get really familiar with that one two three one two three four I recommend that you start with two scales at the beginning C major and B major. So you get really comfortable with um, the one, two, three, one, two, three, four pattern with your right hand in B major. And then that makes it really easy because your thumbs can only fall on the white notes and it's just foolproof. And then C major is just, don't have to worry about any black keys. So you just get used to that pattern. 
one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and go up with the right hand, down with the left hand. So get started with that and check in with me for the next lesson.